Okay, I've just had to make a slight alteration to my uh, fiddle yard down here. That was to give me a headshot to put the rest of my uh, Caledonian, what will become my Caledonian sleeper. Yes, that's a Grand Central Mark III. I know. And that's a um, East Midlands Mark III on Hunt Magnetics. I know. They will eventually all be, that will be replaced by a Grand Central First Class. That's a set for measuring purposes only. So there'll be a first class coach coming in to match this buffet car, which will go sort of here. And what will that will give me will be my Mark II end there, my Mark III end there, all oh, something in, um, randomly mixed up. Of course, as you know, with the Caledonian, you, you get uh, three, it's three parts, one from Fort William, one from Abbott, uh, Inverness, one from Aberdeen, they all meet in uh, Edinburgh Reveille and they are shunted around and coupled up before they go down to London as one train. So the Mark II's, Mark III's could be in any kind of configuration. But it was taking up two lanes, this lane and this lane. Something had to be done. So I've extended that there. So I can bring the train in onto this line all the way through, through that, close that point off, then reverse it back down into place. What I'm coming in from this end, simply close that point off and drive straight up to the end. When, when reversing, come back out, open that one there, reverse up, open that one there, then back out and run as normal. Remembering of course to keep that open. I will be going at the weekend to B&Q to get myself some plastic angle which will go there and go along there because whilst I was faffing around here I did knock something off there. Not one of these uh, Japanese wagons off, thank god it wasn't 68, it was 66. So that's a lovely locomotive. But on the whole, she's coming on nicely. Soon I'll be starting on building those platforms there. So that those two there go back to New Hall Road. Get me back seen across there. Put another piece of plywood along here. It's about there. And there'll be a, a bridge or something in front of it there. Double barrel bridge going there where the train comes on it flicks a point and goes out to the branch line this will be ballasted and I'll be putting green scatter in there and what have you which is a bit overgrown doesn't get used very often and then this here will be the main line and it will be ballasted up to about there so I ballast it up to about there and fade the ballast out then I'll be balancing me uh, at some stage in the future. I'll be balancing me points. I'll be balancing down on to the, down here. A bit of balancing. Mm, that's moved. I need to put a pin, pin there. A bit of balancing there. Balance all this. Balance all this. Balance all this area here. Again, a bit of balance there. A bit of plastic on built up here because this is going to be a a maintenance area and then there'll be some ultra low relief buildings put here with uh what's it so it, it looks like it got vehicle access and as if it goes further back that's the plan those there will go onto my old layout so there'll be a class 60 eventually coming there db Schenker or mainline probably Schenker and these here will become white uh, fish wagons or call that you put me uh, 60 onto those where's a bit loose there these here are the rake has got to be reduced to temporarily to uh, seven cars for now I might 
might do uh, make this my bypass uh, actually no can't do that that's a lot of I'm trying to possibly put another point here and bring it extend it through but unfortunately I don't think I've got my stack points at least not right now because every time I try to um, do a run around with this there's a very slight slope So I need to do something with this uh, section of track here. Probably actually need to jack the baseboard up slightly. But for start doing that, it's probably going to uh, cause issues with these. So it's all. So I'm going to leave. Well, I think I might just leave it at that. And possibly put a uh, magnetic bar to come up and just pop up somewhere down here so it just rests against the uh, the bogey so the train will come up against that plunk stop those two are living there now there might be a very long length there i can get a full car or maybe i can actually get the iet on there which means if I get an IET on there, I can get a cross-country Voyager on there. After all, this is a Scottish theme layout. Cross a river cross-country did go up into Scotland. They went up there, I think, as far as Wick and Penzance. So, where we are, we're not that too far away from Penz uh, from Wick. So, so, sort of north coast route. Of course, this back scene will be a coast, uh, coastal scene, so it could be anywhere up on the north coast of Scotland. Here, uh, I've got to build up something, you know, a reason to have the curve. I put the curve in simply because I do not want a straight run down it. I mean, the straight line's boring. And this had to be done here uh, because of the curvature here. And obviously, I then had to line up to go with this curve. So, th unfortunately, this was kind of forced on me. Because otherwise, I'd have to carry this all the way around to there. I don't know chuck into other very it just wouldn't look right okay this one here was once operated out of Haydock so she's got to get resprayed into be our uh, be our blue livery and named after a late friend of mine so these will be replaced with salt air coaches. I have got another 68 coming, Rapid. Yes, I know I've already got Rapid on New Hall Road, but she's um, not in great shape. As you can see, her buffers are missing and back here there's no ETH plug. So when I go to the railway club, that's what we put the 68 I'll be taking along with these uh, hunk couplings and the seventh one that's on the uh, over there for Newhall Road I've got a couple of uh, Cato buildings finally on their way which will go one which will go sort of where this is here Oh, I've got to get another back seat for that. Oops. So these will go there like that. They will go there like that. They'll be coming. They'll be, they'll be coming down there. So I'll probably have one there, then one here. Bit of cardboard, bit of plowed up against it, then this will go there. 
Now this is actually in the Farish uh, boiler house, but with some uh, clever treatment, I might be able to mask off the mask off those with clear glazing, make it look like it's a bit more modern. I was thinking of doing something with this, putting it up there somewhere behind the sort of up there but I don't think it's going to work so I'll work out what to do with that later it's hard and polystyrene you've got to find some use for it uh, Scott, I'll say Scott Real Coach is there uh, this one will be sitting on here that will She's got to go back to New Hall Road behind me, along with those coaches there. That's the Sunday doesn't fill up the tracks for now. So, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, there will be an update in a couple of weeks for uh, this one and New Hall behind me. But I've got. 20 odd believe surface mounted and underfloor mounted point modes to get for this layout. <laughs> My bank balance won't like that. Well, as it stands now, I'll just slip that on there, slip that on there like that. So I can go out and back. Also needs to sort out the clearance to sort of scrape the platform there. course I can then flip that should I design it and you know enough that would go steps in working this layout for the moment. Yeah, when well, this layout is a little bit more complicated than New Hall Road. Looks like I've got points open that shouldn't have been open. We'll sort that in a bit. I think that's it. Yeah, that's all the route 
set up that should be open. As a, like an idiot, I sent it to the wrong line. <laughs> right, we'll try again, shall we? Right, and this is how I'm going to put the Caledonian sleeve at the bed. And you can see I'm now focused on, you're now looking at the line that it comes onto. That's really in here.
you roll it through. That's the current for the additional car. Would be about there. Close off the shunt point. And just gently, 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 gently back it up. There she is, she's now parked up. Forgive me for using hand, hand power points at the moment. <laughs> this layout has only been built for uh, approximately one week, so I've not had a chance to buy them or even install them yet. So. There we are, we now have a completed circuit. There are a couple of issues with the points. Uh, namely, for some strange reason, when that point is still thrown to there, um, that point is thrown to there still. I've still got power to this line. Sometimes. Well, at the moment it seems to be hidden, so. Yeah. Those are set, to, the power set to go down to there. I've got an insulated rail joint there. So, with these lines here, with this line here thrown to there, this line should be dead. How oh, very, very strange. I've got the same issue with the other fiddly on as well. It's probably a points thing. Anyway, that's enough for now. Bye bye.